everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to do a back shoulder roll into a bridge. So before you try this technique, you will need to know how to do a back shoulder roll. You can check out the tutorial from my hashtag Cassidy tutorial playlist. And also you will need to know how to do a bridge. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the footwork. First, sit on your butt, get into a resting position. I'm rolling on my right shoulder, it's a right back shoulder roll into a bridge. So one tip to remember, when you're doing a right back shoulder roll, your body will drop to the right first. So vice versa, if you are doing a left back shoulder roll, you will drop towards your left side. So let's start again. Let me show you front view. So from here, as I drop and roll on my right shoulder, my legs will drop towards the right side, like this. So when I drop, both of my legs will drop and crossing each other. Later, you will experience it when you are in a plow pose position. So next, second step, from this cross step position, you will bring your left leg to open and at the same time, you will pull your right leg out into this position, back into your resting position. So let me show you again, side grip. So drop, first step, second step. Now next, we will get into the plow pose to mimic the back shoulder roll and to apply our footwork into practice. Let me show you. So first, I get into my plow pose. I'll be rolling on my right shoulder, so both of my legs will be going towards the right shoulder. So, like I mentioned earlier, when the legs go to the right, you will drop towards the right. And when you drop towards the right, you will be in a cross leg position because you'll first need to bend your right knee. So as you bend your right knee, can you see that I'm in a cross leg position? Use your both hands, your arms, strong shoulders, strong core to support your body weight. So as you drop, and then from here, you want to bring out your left leg and pull in your right leg into bridge position. So first, I get into my plow position. I'm rolling on my right side, so both my legs will go to my right, right shoulder. So right shoulder, and I will bend my leg. I will be dropping my both of my legs, and in a cross leg position. So from here, I need to bring in my right leg, and pull up my left, and to also at the same time, roll my shoulder to go underneath, into which position. So that's for our footwork. Next, we want to pay close attention to our shoulder. How do we move our shoulders when we are doing the transition? So first, you must be mindful that your shoulders are also moving at the same time when you do the transition. If you stay in a static position and not moving, you will not be able to go into the transition. So let me briefly let you know what's going on on our shoulder when you're doing the transition. So first, as you roll back, you will need a slight internal rotation from your shoulder. A slight one will do. So as you go into slight internal rotation, you're also allowing your body to help you to go into the ball, the coming in. And from there, you keep in this position and then you keep moving with your arms and then you get back to your Bridge position, your straight arm position. So let me demonstrate again from start with this time. So as you drop to your right, so can you see my shoulder will go inwards? So I don't have to exaggerate and do like extra internal rotation. A slight one will do to position ourselves in a very comfortable way for the transition. So as you go in, in and then with the help of your arms, your core. So as you push yourself back, you continue to move your hand and come back to the resting position or 
of your bridge position. So first I get into my flower pose, um, dropping my legs to my right side. So from here, a very close attention to my right shoulder. So from here, I continue to turn inwards so that I'm able to move my body to cross my leg and to continue to sweep my arms and bring back to my resting position. So take a very close attention on my right shoulder. So first I bring it in so that I can move more forward and come back to my bridge position. So from here, I go into a power pose. Drop towards my right. I keep internal, this is a slight one. From here so that I can drop, support myself. And then I continue to move my shoulder to go around and come back. Make sure to practice on your left side because balance is very important. So before you try your left side, revise on your left back shoulder roll and also the footwork. Let me demonstrate. From your first, you get to your flat pose, which has a side. So as you drop to your left side, keep your arms grounded at the same time also allow slight internal rotation of your left shoulder to drop and your right leg will draw a circle and to bring your opposite leg to come to a high bridge position one side is really harder than the other side make sure you practice both sides and practice mindfully and be gentle with yourself always listen to your body if you find this tutorial helpful Please do share this to your friend or if you have any questions, please type me in the comments below, ask me the question or send me an email or you can even personal message me in my social media accounts. Have a lovely day!